Welcome, everybody, to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, man that's going to change your life. Today's topic, nobody's coming to see. Sit back, listen up, relax, enjoy the show. So this morning I was having coffee as I was prepping up to do this, uh, this conversation. I had a completely different topic in mind. But um, I was sitting back listening to these guys going over some blueprints, right? It's 6 o'clock in the morning at the, um, at the coffee shop. These guys come in and I hear them going over some bids. I don't know, know exactly what they do. I imagine the construction guys, that's kind of irrelevant. But here's what I hear. They ran their business to the point where they've got all their eggs in one basket. It sounded like their plan was contingent on somebody taking this deal and this woman taking a deal and it didn't sound like she wanted to take the deal. So they were scrambling, coming up for ways and ideas to figure out how they're going to make it through, what they're going to do. And the guy's like, I don't like it. I don't like it. I can't sleep at night. I'm losing. I'm drinking. I got, I got too much going on. They're, they're going around the round table with each other talking about these things. And I thought to myself, the problem isn't what happened right now. The problem is what happened before. I don't know all the ins and outs of their workings, but I do know the ins and outs of mine. Nobody was going to save me just like nobody's going to save you. You put yourself into a situation because why? You let yourself get there. We can strictly talk about business, which I will for a couple seconds. In my previous life, right? I didn't really live in nine before, but in my previous life, my previous business, my previous entrepreneurship journey that I was on, I let myself get back into corner after corner after corner by not paying attention and focusing on what was going on. I was simply searching for something come to save me while sedating myself out from the noise every single day, from the employees, from the stress, from the new business, from the trucks, from the drivers, every fucking thing. I was waiting and wishing and hoping somebody was going to come save me. But while I was waiting for someone to come save me, I would sit and I would drink and I would drink and I would drink and I would drink. At the same time, lying to the world, telling myself, the world, my family, the employees, I got this, I got this under control. When inside, I'm fucking looking for Superman. I'm looking for someone to come help me out and I just can't fucking do it. See, the thing is this, I was doing it to a point to grow it to that point, right? I was doing everything that needed to be done. I didn't need anyone to come save me. But I kept putting my eggs in one basket. I kept putting them in one basket. Then I did, decided to diversify. Once I diversified, I didn't have the skill set. I didn't have the knowledge. I didn't have the experience. But I had the desire to try. The problem for me was this. I let drugs, alcohol, lying, being a shitty human being, get in the way of my future, get in the way of my family, get in the way of everything that I needed to do. So when I look at this, and I talk to you guys about something or someone coming to save you, the answer is simply this. If you do not want to lose it all, if you do not want to be like those men that are at the table right now trying to fucking scramble their brains, figure out how to put their life back together, how they're going to provide for their children, how they're going to avoid running a tab up at the bar because they're emptying their feelings, their emotions, their thoughts, their actions into a fucking bottle, it's time for you to draw the line in the sand today and not cross it. I will guarantee you this. The way that you show up in your business is a direct reflection of your personal life. Now, what do I mean by that? When I said nobody was coming to save me, it's very, very, very simple. I didn't put my family first. I didn't put my health first. I didn't put my emotions first. I didn't put myself first. I put the drinking first. I put the drugs first. I put the lie of the life. The Jones mentality. All these things that I put in front of me was a direct reflection of why my business fucking failed. In hindsight, now looking back at this, I know exactly what needed to be done. And I'm eight years removed. But I know exactly what needed to be done to be able to save that, rectify that, create the future for the people that work for me. And I probably wouldn't be in the shoes that I'm in right now. But at the same time, I'm grateful for it. See, I lost it but I was able to find it because I realized that same fucking question I just asked you. Nobody's coming to save you. Not today, not tomorrow, not next week, not your mom, not Google, fucking nobody. The sooner you can realize this, the sooner you can wrap your mind around it, and this is not just about business, this is inside of your fucking marriage, this is inside of your relationships with your kids, this is inside of your body that you may be trapped to, nobody is going to come do this for you. Again, I wish I could be so, so philosophical. Philosophical, I can't even say the fucking word. Philosophical. So I have some deep, deep, deep rooting to mean and tell you these things, but I know this. 
I'm not the smartest man in the world, but I'm not afraid to take action. And when you have a problem that action can solve, you, my friend, do not have a fucking problem. So today the message is very, very quite simple to you. What can you do today to dig yourself out? And if you're digging, don't fucking look back. Step on the gas. Make it happen. Move faster. I know this, my brothers. I do not want to see you fail. I want to see each and every one of you be successful. I want to see each and every one of you win. I want you to make the decision today to be the man that you want to be. If you're struggling to make that decision, I want to help you. Go ahead and follow the link or type it in. I'm a comeback.com forward slash apply. Again, that's I'm a comeback.com forward slash apply. I'm only looking for some unique men hunting down alpha males worldwide that are looking to take back their lives, looking to take back the territory, be the men that they want, be the men that their wife wants, be the fucking father that their kids deserve. And ultimately love the man looking back at you at the mirror. Nobody's coming to save you today, fellas. Click the link or don't click the link. I don't give a fuck. What I do care about is you make a choice today. Your choice, anyone's choice. It's 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 ultimately your choice. I will see you tomorrow.